A Georgia sheriff is reopening the investigation into the mysterious death of a teenager more than eight years ago. Surveillance video shows Kendrick Johnson less than 24 hours before he died in January 2013. His body was later found inside a rolled up gym mat at his Valdosta High School. Investigators quickly ruled it an accident, but his parents have never believed that. Mark Strassman spoke to Johnson's family about what they hope to learn. We want to warn you, some of the details are disturbing. We want to know what happened to Kendrick Johnson, why nothing has been done, and why nobody has been held accountable. Jacqueline Johnson wants justice for her youngest son. You feel that loss every day? Every day, every second of the hour. In January of 2013, surveillance videos showed Kendrick Johnson walking the hallways at his high school. Sometime in the next 24 hours, the 17-year-old three-sport athlete died. His body found the next day, rolled up head first in this wrestling mat. Kendrick was in one of the places that should have been the safest place for him to be a Kendrick wasn't on no corner. Kendrick was at school trying to get his education. State investigators ruled the death an accident. They initially said Johnson dove into the mat to retrieve a shoe, got stuck, and died from positional asphyxia. But two other autopsies requested by the family in the following months determined blunt force trauma to the neck caused his death. I know that my son was beat to death and rolled up in the mat. I'm not going to even say think again. I know my son was beat to death. No way in your mind it was an accident. No, no way. A federal civil rights investigation followed. But in 2016, the Department of Justice determined it lacked evidence to file hate crime charges, as it would have needed to prove he was killed because of his race. That investigation's results were sealed. But now, for the first time, investigators will have access to that evidence, coupled with the state's original files. Lowndes County Sheriff Ashley Pock was not part of the original investigation, but will so, lead I mean, the new one. I made him a promise. I made the people of this county a promise. I'm pretty well known for keeping my promises. Marcus Coleman is the Johnson family spokesman. Now that this investigation has been reopened in the Sheriff's Department, we feel like those array of charges that literally fit what happened to Kendrick can now be applied. And what do you think those charges will be? Murder. Oh, will be. We're hoping, sir. We're, we're cautiously optimistic. Uh, that murder will be hit, uh, dealt down here. A fresh look that could mean different answers for this family. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Strassman. Mm, well, thank you, Mark Strassman. I remember that story very yeah. well, and it never made any sense to no, me. It's, it's How could doesn't. you be accidentally rolled up in a mat that heavy, it's number giant. one? It takes a whole it, bunch of people to roll them. Makes no sense. I'm glad the family's pursuing well, it because your heart goes out to his absolutely. mother, Jacqueline. And Johnson. there's either blunt force trauma there or there, or there isn't. Or there's not, you know. And if, glad you know. somebody's taking another look.